Three Musketeers, but you know, hey. Time to save, and it's time for the trial. The separate save slot for this one because you because I don't want to mess this up. All right. Let's check our conditions now. There we go. Patch things up with Gemini on really good terms with Karen. Um, friendship gauge. Unchanged there. Let's begin. Da 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 dum. Da 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 dun dun. Da 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 it's our fake courtroom. Everyone came out to get a taste of justice. All right. Freedom, ethics, even love <laughs> all flow from the courthouse. It's a stage, and we are its actors. I now understand her taste for the theatric. Theatrical. What better place than here to determine which of us is right? Um, call for a second. Indeed, all the world is a stage, and we are, in fact, merely players. So, let's the curtain raise. Here in America, law <laughs> defines justice, and I know the law by heart. Prepare to get schooled. Law school. All right. Great made up of the Harlem residents themselves. I do. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're getting full Phoenix right here. Okay. There be this little. All right. Country. Okay. Oh, prosper. Pro prosperity, huh? That has to be deliberate. Ah, oh, okay, so they mentioned Atlanta, Georgia, which means my counter argument.
<laughs> so all in. That actually worked. The, the... Okay. <laughs> okay. That's another three points. Objection. And I present the evidence from there. Then... Okay. Okay, that works. I was able to turn that around. Okay. Okay, good. That worked. Ha-ha! <laughs> did I not notice? Okay, that worked. Okay. Okay, all right, that works. Then my observation about the bribe. Okay, that, crap, that that backfired. Oops. All right. I screwed that up. Okay. That went bad. Oops.
Okay, we're still in good shape. Okay. Okay. All right. These bits are going to be dopey. <laughs> Cringingly dopey. <laughs> Oh, birth of me. That's a bad comparison considering we now have, we now have the impossible burger. <laughs> oh, that's, just, that's fair. Okay, and the kids. Still works. Um. No prosecution reference yet. Uh, Alright, so... I have a lot of points I can gain here. Okay. I'll say this compared to Phoenix, I, it is much more stressful having this be timed as opposed to like Phoenix Wright, where you have a little bit of upper chance to think about your options here. Um... One gospel. Okay. One more point. Then give me five. Okay. All right. Prosecution rests. <laughs> They're offered five thousand. Okay. Um let's back up for a second. Five thousand, huh? Woof! That is approximately seventy-five thousand dollars in twenty eighteen box. I mean, again, still, that's that is nothing to sneeze at. That's why so much I own college loans. But again, if you're a business own, owner um, in Harlem, that's still not necessarily enough for you to go. Okay, I'm going to pack up and have to completely start afresh with your biz with whatever your business is or your your club or that sort of thing. That's, I mean. You'd be having to take significant loans out in order to um, start a new club, but it, it does give you some significant opening capital. But still, so we'll see how this goes. Okay. All right. The guide is uh, the, the fact I'm using here for for dialogue choices is not ideal when it comes to for the next batch of options because it doesn't give quite a clue of what those ones are. Jobs are offering with um, Game Frontier itself. Well, that depends on your working conditions, doesn't it? 
Um, first hunt. Oof. Aha. Okay. That works. This goes. Last round. I will say I, I this trial is probably badly structured because basically. Your opportunity to lay out all your evidence is in the opening statements, but it actually, you would opening statement is say what your evidence is going to be and then present all of it in the middle portion. Um, But they're not showing any. They're just saying what it'll, what it'll be. They're not showing that they can follow through on these promises. Um, also, the shopping mall that you're talking about here is not really a thing until the 70s and 80s. Um, shopping mall that appeared in the film Dawn of the Dead is, in fact, a novel concept at the time the film came out. It is. Okay. Uh, but here's the question. Is, will the residents of Old Harlem be able to move into New Harlem, or is this going to be a whole bunch of, of, of uh, white people? Okay. Ha! There we go! How many of the crux of gentrification? Don't wait for the translation to answer me now! I mean, that was actually the. Actually, I basically literally kind of said this. Okay. Who, like. Normally, the, the, the catch with gentrification is the people who are getting displaced, they aren't just priced out because the grocery stores are too expensive. It's, they are financially pushed out in terms of, they, they, they are pushed out of their old homes. They're not giving a chance, to the new homes are not ones they'll be able to live in. It is, like, it is kind of nuts that we're having this, this, this JRPG visual novel with the crux of the game's second chapter being about how terrible gentrification is.
Oop. Yep. Admitting that she's sold out. One more of this is 100%. Oh, Go! Alright, alright, so then I can... Okay. I won. Okay. Wow, dead silent. <laughs> that worked out shockingly well. What? Oof. Wow, that's straight up super villain here. <laughs> and here comes the boss. Are you something in here? Oh, God! <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, this is cringy. Oh, I don't think the developers realize what they're saying when they wrote this in the script. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, it's literally a rich white guy comes in and stops the other rich white guy by throwing a bunch of money at the, at the first rich white guy. <laughs> huh. Okay, that worked out well. That was that was something.
Okay, both these actually probably work. Uh... Okay, it looks like I can present both of these. Okay. Just tell us who you are. Uh, tell us your name. Karen. That's right. <sighs> Do you Karen? Like the Greek myth. <laughs> a creature of nobility, morality, and uh, intelligence. <clears throat> okay. An archer. Like the weapon. Drawn tight and taking careful aim at your enemies. Oh, we did not get the game over and, and lose the trial, so that's good. <laughs> that would have been that would have been bad. Um Alrighty. Alright, everyone. It's time to start rebuilding Harlem. Right on. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. And here comes the villain. Fiori. 
purification. The refuge of the cowardly must sleep in fire. I have delivered my new law, and you will all serve me. Evil demon. Isn't it obvious? The unworthy must burn in hellfire. That is one of my laws. You're insane! What the hell is wrong with you? He's a de- that's a demon, that's what's wrong with him. All who defy me shall forfeit their lives. That is another of my laws. No right. Who do you think you are? I am Kokuryu, the creator of law and order. But you're burning homes and killing people. What kind of law and order is that? There's no justice here, and I won't accept it. Jin, I want you to take care of Carlos. Uh, hey, Karen! You have really pissed me off. All right, so got a save point coming up. Mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> convenient motorcycle. Normally, did you like a suit of power armor for this? Come on! Like the demons blasting off again? can't just go around and spout words like law and order without knowing what they mean. Especially not self-centered egomaniacs like you. You impudent wretch! I will tolerate no such insolence! Damn! She's practically invincible! Ignorance deserves death. Defiance deserves death! I shall rule you all! Useless creatures crawling all over my land! I will put you to the blade! Jiminy, that outfit. <laughs> what? <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> this outfit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Indeed, we have the New York Combat Review. <laughs> Our st stock footage sequence.
And Rita Bruce with Ratchet not suiting up this time. Woman is escaped too. All right. Okay. into chainsaw gauntlets. So, uh, here's the thing. You have the launch catapult being, like, a big elastic crossbow thing. But here's the thing about aircraft carrier launch catapults. They run on steam, which you're using anyway, because this is steampunk. Kind of diesel punk, but also steampunk. So just have it run on steam! So... On that note, we've been going for almost three hours. So, let's pick our plot condition here. Turn it very much. Ooh, everybody's buffed. All right, leveled up. Okay. So, we'll save my game, and next time... We will deal with the demon attacking Harlem. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.